Hello everyone, Chaman Sin here. Okay, so I recently was helping one of my YouTube followers set up a glass up off web application uh, honeypot, as you've seen in one of my previous videos. And um, I came across Snare, which is this developer's mush org's uh, project. Uh, so mush org, if you don't know, created the original glass up off, which it was a ad web application honeypot. Uh, they have a bunch of other projects. Uh, but uh, Snare caught my eye. Uh, so Snare is kind of the um, Glassopov's successor. It comes with some other features that, that are pretty cool. So uh, I, I installed it and it's been, been pretty cool. So I, I thought I'd show you how to install it and play around with it. So I have a Ubuntu server, 1604 I believe. Oops. Yep, 16.04. So what I'm going to do is uh, install it. So first we'll use uh, git clone command to download the code. Uh, if you don't know, once you do the git clone command, it will clone the, the code into the current directory that you're in. So in my case, that's snare. And the next thing we'll do is install the requirements. So I actually already have these installed because I was getting prepared for the video, but essentially you'd run uh, that command pip install dash r uh, requirements. And in that requirements file, it has the Python dependencies that, that you'll need. Okay, so the next step is to clone a page. So this can be a page that you own, or it could be some, um, hopefully you're only doing this on a, on a page you own, obviously. You don't want to be cloning someone else's project without permission. Uh, and you can use almost like a live site instead of the old school glass top off where it had some templates that were really hard to play around with and uh, it didn't look like a very legitimate site. With this, you can clone uh, a site that's, that's kind of already there along with all of its, uh, all of its uh, content. So I have a page that I uh, will, will clone, and that is my own site. I have a project that I will so truly random.tk which is a, a project I've been working on that generates random numbers and stuff like that and I will clone that page so you do sudo python3 call on the clone.py uh, script making sure that you're in the snare directory and issue target switch uh, and the site that you're on so if you have let's say another site in your lab You'll just point it to, I don't know, 192.168.5.20, uh, let's say, uh, or whatever the name of that site is, if you're using this in your development environment or your lab. So all clone sites will go to opt snare pages. And you'll see I have truly random.tk. Okay, so now will issue the startup command so which is sudo python3 snare.py so i'm going to modify um, i'm going to modify the startup for my personal situation here because uh, if you if you run this command uh, what will happen is it'll bind to localhost which i'm running this on a VM that's not on my uh, on my desktop, so obviously I have to bind it to a different IP. So I'll be host dash IP, and then I'll bind it to the IP of this server, and then I'll just do port eighty because I have nothing else running on here. here instead of port eighty eighty, page directory. So the page directory is the name of the site. And you don't have to put the absolute path. Okay, so I'll just put truly random.tk. 
and away you go. So I should mention something. I had an issue. Uh, if you just install uh, a copy of Ubuntu server, uh, make sure to install all the updates for Python because I noticed that uh, when I downloaded Python 3, there was a couple modules that were causing some grief um, for this, uh, for the honeypot and was causing some errors. So here's my page, the live page on the net. And let's go to the site. So 2.53. And here we go. So now you're starting to see requests. And once I click on certain buttons, you'll see exactly what's going on, all the requests. Okay. So now this page is fully um, fully copied and you know right away something's wrong because uh, it's missing the certificate right so here HTTPS site here HTTP site okay, so now let's perform some uh, I guess a basic attack on this we can do we'll just run Nikto uh, against the uh, against this honeypot and now you're going to see all the different types of requests that Nikto makes and all the all the other different things that that'll do now this my 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 project is just a, a flat PHP files uh, so there's no SQL or any or anything in the, in the back end because that's not what my project uh, That's not what my project needs But if you have say a page with uh, an SQL database and stuff like that you can really or a login form you can start playing around with how uh, SQL injections look and and all that stuff okay. So that's snare Okay. There's I, I do recommend that you check out I'll put this in the description uh, below but you can check out all the extra different things you can do with this you can really set uh, some parameters on uh, how you want the page to be hosted so if I just do snare.py you'll see that you can edit the server header you can enable debugging, all of that good stuff. Okay, so if you have any questions or comments about this video or any one of my videos, please leave them in the comment section below. Feel free to reach out to me, Sean at SeanMancini.com, and you can visit my website, www.SeanMancini.com. See you guys soon. Bye.